Hey y'all, it's Ashley. <laughs> Never mind. Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Obedience Podcast, and I am here bringing you another study with me. You know, I had a scripture in my mind. I was planned out, you know, had it written out, had my highlighter going, had to find all kinds of words, but Holy Spirit, you know, he's the head. So he placed another scripture on my heart, and he pretty much directed me to just tell the people, you know, don't put your trust in whoever, like, brings the presidency or or even in your stimulus check that we're still waiting for. <laughs> but just a call to the people to put your help in God, to put him, to place him as the source of all things. So, of course, we're living in an unprecedented time, you know, where a lot of injustice, a pandemic, and also, like I said, it's an election year. <coughs> Sometimes it can get crazy. But the key is, if never before you realize who your source is in, or your hope is in, now is the time to define it and get back to the source. So he led me to Psalm 146. I'm going to cover verses 3 through 5. So the theme of this psalm is the help of people versus the help of God. Help from people is temporal and unstable, but help from God is lasting and complete. So I go ahead and read those verses, and it reads, and I'm reading from the NLT. Don't put your confidence in power for people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last breath, they return to the earth, and all of their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. So it leads me to the question, like, where's your confidence? Who do you have your confidence in? Is it in the president, whoever in the president seat? Um, not even the president, like your boss. Do you have more confidence in your boss rather than your God, your savior? So it, it's kind of like, who is your God at the end of the day? You know, we do put people in the wrong place. And sometimes we do allow people or like, leadership our managers and leaders we sometimes put them our confidence in them and really and truly they should not be in that place and if you found that you put you know someone else in that that head seat it's okay we all have sometimes and you know just ask god for your, his forgiveness and you will receive it ask god for your, his wisdom he says that he'll freely give it to us so just ask him for it he'll give you give you his help, put you in the right path of being purposeful for being his sons and daughters, and also lead you on a place of putting him as a head. He's a loving father, as you guys know. We've covered that before. He is a loving father, and he'll, he'll do just that and still love you. I want you to think for a second. Who is the power for people for you in this text? So verse 3 says, do not place your confidence in power for people. Who is that for you? And like I said, it could be your boss. It could be your spouse. You know, you can put, you know, your husband or your wife as the head. Or like I said, that stimulus check we still waiting on as the head and still looking for that. Is it money? Is it, what is it for you? If it's not God, go to God for forgiveness and he'll give you just that. So moving forward with verse four, it says, when they breathe their last breath, they return to earth. And their plans die with them. So it pretty much lets us know that when they gone, that's it. <laughs> there is nothing else. You know, let's say for instance, we'll give the scenario. My boss is supposed to give me a job tomorrow. And he ain't put in the pa paperwork. If he gone tomorrow, I ain't getting no raise. I'm no promotion. So that's it. So I shouldn't place my confidence in him. But I can place my confidence, my help, my source in God. And he gives me promotions all the time. Hello. <laughs> all right. Thank you all this year. We're placing our hope and confidence in inadequate saviors. They can't do a thing for us after they're gone. Moving forward in verse 5, it reads, 
but joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper. Those who have hope in the Lord will have joy. And we talked about joy in October, and we said that, you know, it does not come from things of this world, but it comes from God. And we should have joy in all circumstances. So moving down just to, I know I didn't cover this in the first topic when, when I first said it, but moving down to verse 6 of this psalm, he said, He made heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. So if that's not enough to get you hooked on to God and having your confidence in him, I don't know what else there is to say. That means that there is no end. And there is there is promises in God. There are so many promises I cannot cover in this video. But one of my favorite is that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So whatever circumstances that you find yourself in, no matter how you're feeling, guess what? He's there. And that he will never leave us, okay? So all we have to do is call upon him. We can cry out to him at any time, and he is there. He will never leave us nor forsake us. That's my favorite promise. One of my favorite promises. So, so our focus should not be on CNN, ABC, Nickelodeon, <laughs> or even who wins the election. It should not be on our boss determining our raises, our promotion, or anything else. Of course, we should stay informed and, you know, up to date with everything, and that's fine. But you can watch that and still have hope in God. And to know that he is still the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. And you can read uh, Revelation 17 and 14 to read that, that he is the king of kings and Lord of lords. And I'll go ahead and turn there as well. And it reads, together they will go to war against the Lamb. But the Lamb will defeat them because he is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And his called and chosen and faithful ones will be with him. So it reads, I mean, it tells us also throughout the Bible, that scriptures to reference that, that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and he will forever reign. He, no one can take his seat. That's it. Period. In closing... How will you end 2020? You decide that. That sounds like a presidential <laughs> thing. But it's not. It's your decision. Will your hope be in government? Will it be in your job? Your spouse? Social media? Your bank account? Or will you find true hope? True confidence? True joy? True peace? And our Heavenly Father. In Christ Jesus our Savior. Like I said you guys. You guys do decide that. You have a final say over your life. Just because what you have going. There are millions. Millions of things. That are going on around us. But you have a choice to decide. On what you focus on. What you have a, co a confidence in. And what. I ain't got wrong. Okay, I guess I'll leave you with that. Yeah, that's all my throat cut. You ain't got nothing else. So I'll leave you with that question. You can comment below. You can inbox us below. If you need help in a specific area, we'll pray with you guys. And I just want to say a quick prayer. Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come before you. I thank you, Lord God, that you gave me this passage of scripture to help your people. Realize that you are the only one that can save us. You are our true confidence, Lord God, that nothing in this world can satisfy us. That you are perfect in all of your ways, Lord God. And Lord, we just want to say thank you before we come, before we move forward and ask for anything. Thank you, Lord, for never changing, for being the only one that never changed. Things around us may change. They go up and down each day, but you are still there. 
Thank you. Father God, I ask that you meet the need of whomever is watching this, Lord God. Help them to know you as their father, their savior, the one that they can have confidence in, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for being right with them, Lord God, and speaking to them and confident them in their time. I pray, Lord God, that you give them the wisdom, the peace that surpasses all understanding to continue to guard their heart and mind. That they do not look at things around them, but they look to you for help. And in that looking to you for help, they, they will find whatever they need. A friend, a helper, guidance, whatever they're needing, Lord God. I thank you that we place our hope in you and that you are never changing. Thank you, Father. It is in the mighty name of Jesus I pray. Amen. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that this did bless you guys. Please do share it with your friends and also your family. And as always, guys, please do check us out on all of our social media platforms. And also... I think that's it. <laughs> and as always, be obedient. We'll see you next time. Ha, 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 ha.